How could we possibly sum up an impactful 40-year career in TV journalism? The man you're about to meet has transformed lives. He is a molder of voices, a connector of communities. Shaper of dreams and crafter of creativity, executive producer Jeff Reed. Now there's no way to condense Jeff's many accomplishments into just a few minutes. But what we want to do is take you on a journey of the beloved community he has helped build. Jeff has told thousands of stories. Now his beloved community tells his. Alrighty, quiet on the set, let's go, let's go. For all the faces you see on screen, there's a leader who guides them. Good to be in Selma one more time. For every moment that finds the air, there's a producer or manager who decides it's worth seeing. For the last eight years at 11 Alive, and for decades in journalism, Jeff Reed has chronicled history. From the pivotal moments that shaped this nation to the untold stories that fill our communities. I can't tell you how much you've done for my life and uh, so many countless others. You are one of the big reasons why I decided to come to 11 Alive. People you have educated through your stories, they don't know your name to say thank you. So I want to say thank you. You're watching 11 Alive News tonight. Jeff first arrived at 11 Alive in 1993 just in time for Atlanta's time in the international spotlight. The closing ceremonies of the 96 Summer Games were his last day at the station. He left for CNN, working on shows with journalistic titans, but he made his mark through long-form storytelling about the black experience, documentaries about Rodney King, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., and the landmark series, Black in America. Then in 2012, 16 years after leaving 11 Alive, Jeff returned to bring that long-form energy to local news. Coming here, I think people had read about my work at, at CNN and seen my, seen my work. But at a certain point, you got to come in here and prove to everyone else that here's why you're bringing me here. Since then, Jeff has led the way behind nearly every special report, bringing depth and detail to our region's biggest stories our trip to Selma. I loved those stories. I appreciated so much how you brought creative ideas but pushed me to come up with ideas as well. The way you guided us through the passing of Congressman John Lewis was something I personally will never ever forget. I would not have had the opportunity to you know go one-on-one -on -one with Hank Aaron if you didn't think to include me. Jeff is also the man behind The Reveal, our investigative team that has won awards, changed laws, and defended lives. I mean, when you look at, you know, local news, you get kind of the who, what, when, where, and how. I always felt like I wanted to do a newscast, another type of show that takes, you know, the stories and delves deep into them. Perfect. Cool. Get it right, Parati. Trying. <laughs> As Jeff steps away, we're losing his many gifts, but they live on in a generation of storytellers whose careers he's helped steer. You know, there are managers who are just great leaders and managers who don't just manage, but they also mentor you and invest in your success and revel in that success. Jeff, you're all of that and more. The best mentors in life are the people that will give you a hand up and who will sit you down and tell you when you're messing up. You can always rely on him to keep it real, even if it's not what you want to hear. I always appreciate your feedback, the good, the bad, the indifferent, it's always honest. If there was anyone on the team that I needed help with to take out a, a minute out of my story or two minutes out of my story because it was too long, I knew you were the guy. You've always brought a sense of calm to the newsroom. That spirit to me that always said that I'm in your corner and everything is okay. You have mentored so many that you are leaving behind a legacy of smarter, bolder, compassionate journalists. One of them, if I remember correctly, your own son. Hey old man, congratulations on your retirement and your contributions to this industry have been nothing short of incredible. From the stories you've told, the careers you've helped launch, to the bridges you've built, you're one of the gatekeepers and you will be missed. Jeff has impacted our lives as well. Journalism is my form of good trouble, and thank you so much for helping me realize that. 
Thank you for showing me what representation looks like. Not only that, but how much of an impact representation can make. Jeff, I've always believed that journalism isn't just about capturing what's happening in the moment, but about examining everything around it. You showed me that history isn't just the past, but part of a path to our future. That's Jeff Reed, the guiding voice whose accomplishments live in the stories he's produced. And the beloved community of faces who carry his lessons. Jeff, I, I, I can't imagine that you can really fully grasp the extent of the impact you've had on careers across the country and over the years. That's leadership, and that's what matters above all. Jeff, it has been an honor to work with you, and it's been fun. Take heart, my friend. Knowing you've trained future generations to carry on the strong journalistic fight to expose unrighteousness, to not let us forget our past, to celebrate all that is good, and to remember that under the proper leadership, hope is not a lost cause. I noticed the true meaning of success with Jeff Reed when I interviewed Jeff Reed Jr. for a job at WUSA, and he talked about his pops and how much his dad meant to him and how much he learned from him and how much he respected him. That is the true meaning of success, my friend. Jeff Reed, you are the most chill, most calm producer I have ever worked with in this business. And that's saying a lot. With all the stress of deadlines and dealing with mega topics, the unique personalities and the chaos of the newsroom, not once, not once have I ever heard you raise your voice, not yell, not throw a temper tantrum, not hit a wall. A saint. I just want you to know that you're greatly appreciated and you will be greatly, greatly missed. I am honored to be one of so many over the course of your career to have been able to work with you and learn from you. Thank you for making us all better and thanks for all of your contributions to journalism. And thanks for always being a sounding board for me personally on stories or ideas and guidance that you gave me along the way. I really appreciate it. Unfortunately, the word wisdom sometimes comes with old age, and I don't want to equate wisdom with me being old or you being old, but we are going to miss your wisdom. And it's that knowledge that you have, your resources, and just the news sense that you have. It is really going to be missed. Hey, Mr. Jeffrey, where are you going? You can't retire. There's still more information that I need to pull from you. <laughs> but anyway, if you have to retire, and I know you must, congratulations to you, man. What your team accomplishes in just one year are the kinds of things that most journalists are lucky to dream of in an entire career. Look at what we've accomplished together. All of the great stories we've done, the awards we've won, the Peabody, the DuPont, National Murrows, Emmy Awards. Thank you for having the confidence in me four and a half years ago by bringing me on this investigative team. Without your support, I don't think I would have ever made it to Atlanta or this TV station or this great team. I hate the fact that COVID has taken away our ability to work face to face in your final year, but I am counting on you to keep that line open at the Johns Creek Bureau. You pretty much plucked me out of daily assignments and asked me, want to be part of the investigator team? As cavalier as that? And I said yes, <laughs> without a doubt. Hey Jeff, I'm probably one of the few people here at the station that got to work with you during two different stints here at 11 Alive. And I can tell you, working with you has been one of the greatest experiences of my life. You know, in a newsroom full of pretty calm people, I think Jeff Reed was probably the calmest of them all. He definitely helped me with my self-esteem. He, he helped me work through feelings of self-doubt and use those feelings to make my craft better. I only hope I can help others the way you have helped all of us. Thank you for your presence and just thank you for being such a good friend. Thank you so much for being a great manager, a great mentor, and an ear when I have random life questions. I thank you so much for helping me think of things in different ways when it came to approaching stories. I thank you for uh, always being open to my pitches. Thank you for everything and thank you for trusting me and trusting my investigations and being my friend. Well, your biggest impact has been as a father, a son, and a husband. And I know we're all looking forward to having you around more. Some of us. Jeff, I love you. The world loves you. Now go and enjoy life. Good luck. And hello to my 11 Alive family too. Love you guys. Mwah. It's been an honor to have worked with you. 
You are the producer extraordinaire, wise, insightful, talented writer, and on top of that, kind, gracious, and patient. You deserve every accolade. You leave a legacy.